and welcome back YouTube and today well we are going to pretty much annihilate the white flags fortress there um I actually already done this one so well done this one I had uh, just slightly bit played into it just to see how it gonna go and uh, I found something incredibly annoying that has happened and uh, it's hopefully it's it's going to repeat itself. I'm just gonna do, do it like this. Um, what happened pretty much was, of course, the ship literally bowed in and went straight through the fortress, straight at the fortress, and then into the fortress. It literally just went, hey man, you wanna be fighting this thing? I'm not gonna broadside, I'm just gonna ram into it. I, I don't know why i done that. It's like really stupid thing and it's even worse because this thing has actually torpedoes that are launched downwards and as the end result they kind of hit it underneath the ship and that actually caused us quite a lot of damage to me and it's something yeah they are in this game it's it does need fixing um, as you just can't predict what will happen with it but in overall it was uh, bad and uh, the end result I patrol mode this time around but as you can see the white flares fortress uh, quite a lot of fast firing guns it's not all that dangerous if you do have sh a lot of shields on board but the torpedoes can be quite of a threat there so uh, I do think we got hit by the torpedoes no no but we have taken quite a lot of damage Somewhere. Wow. I have no idea where though. <laughs> we are taking damage, I just don't see where. Hmm. Occasional block fly off. But we are getting repaired. Apparently our repairs are completely capable of dealing with this uh, amount of damage. Um, we'll have to, you know what, I think you, it's safe now to turn you back to combat, even though you're most likely gonna bow in, aren't you? Such a silly thing, the AI in this game. It really is. But I play Fortress, yeah. Not, I mean, it does have lots of guns, but they're not all that dangerous. Uh, I mean, it's, as long as you have shields... They are not that dangerous. The torpedoes are fired downwards, so if your ships get somewhere close, uh, you will no longer be protected because they're gonna. The torpedoes gonna come right downward up, and uh, into the ship, and can actually do quite significant damage to the bottom hull part, and that's actually quite annoying. And you know, the current there actually has like two layers of light alloy. A layer of light alloy and a layer of metal to protect the turret. So if it hits right underneath the turret, it most likely gonna blow. So that's that's bad. But yeah, we destroyed false idols. The corruption, delusions, and psychosis of the fanatical white flares have been put to an end. Worship of the flayed god can only be found in darkened corners, hiding from the light. Never again will this evil cult of lunatics bring fear and suffering to the people of High Lorham. To many here, you are the are liberator, bringing freedom of religious diversity to the masses. To others, you are the tyrant that destroyed a culture. Oh well. Yes. Ah. Uh, yeah, but uh, the real issue here is if those torpedoes come right underneath here, they have a habit of hitting, striking right down here. And uh, yeah, that, that's not a, a great amount of protection. A light iron layer and a metal layer, that's... And previously the ship just bowed in and went for it. And of course the torpedoes come and actually disabled the turrets. They didn't manage to destroy it, but they did disable it. And that was what was I kind of annoyed by in the first. And then the ship just decided to, you know, casually ram into a fortress. Bad, bad current. It just, I, the AI in this game, just, you never know what to expect out of it. It just, ah, so frustrating. <clears throat> the shells are loading though. We are lo reloading, yes. 
really gonna have a bit of fuel on the ammo, but yeah, it's gonna be okay. Pull all. Uh, yep, yep, yep. And I'm gonna grab a soup here and send it upward. And here, um, you know what? Considering, I mean, um, the sub is actually quite effective against the white players here. Um, the missiles and the stuff. Oh. Oh, um, give me a second. You know what? I'm gonna. What is in here? <laughs> you, the hydraulic. Yes, I'm gonna retrofit them to the. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Where are you? Oh. Here. Retrofit, yes, and you. Uh, retrofit as well. And false name, Mikra. And the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing right now is because uh, there is a hydro vault there. <laughs> um, I'm gonna spawn you in just a quick bit. You're not gonna have your guns. Oh, you have your guns loaded. Ah, that's that's nice of you. Yeah, you. Oh, now you have your guns not loaded. Okay. Still, uh, once we get into the game, it should be loaded. Okay. Now it's loaded back in the rear gun, I don't think. Yeah, it is loaded up as well. The <coughs> Hydro Vault there is actually a pain in the butt to Receiving. deal with and... Um, now. Yeah, sure. Um, the problem with dealing with the Hydro Vault is that it's a very, very fast submarine. It's something like 40 meters a second underwater ship. And if somebody may take notice, I don't actually have any ships that would be as fast as that at all. And that means if we damage it in an odd way, it may happen that we may not be able to kill it. It's just gonna keep on sailing away from us. Receiving. And that would actually be Receiving. somewhat... Oh, it is full. Okay. Uh, and that might actually turn out to be quite si seriously annoying. Um, so I'm gonna place the ships so that they will potentially be able to get their torpedoes out. And and the Babas have more torpedoes and somewhat of better torpedoes up as well. So uh, hopefully that will... I mean, they like the missiles, but uh, they do have those torpedoes. And those torpedoes, hopefully will be good enough to deal with the Hydro Vault because this thing is really, really annoying. It's it's big, so it's hard to damage with just missile power. <coughs> and at the same time, it's fast, so it's pain in the ass to deal with it that way, you know. The torpedoes, our torpedoes are pretty fast. They do 50 meters a second or so, but... Uh, 50, 60 meters a second or so, but, uh, you know... Hitting a hydro vault, which kind of jerks underwater up as well. Oh, we got hit there. Friendly fire, most likely. Oh, and now the hydro vault is in. <coughs> and this thing is, as you see, it's big. It's twenty thousand in volume, so not small at all. And of course, it gets worse because uh, it's fast, as I said. So, uh, hopefully, our torpedoes will be able to deal a significant damage to its propulsion and that should slow it down and hopefully, more torpedoes the better here. Uh, hopefully, there are not gonna be too much of clipping and glitching going on, even though there is some already. This thing is like super annoying. Look at it, just jerking off like that. And we're already taking damage, of course. Uh, it was something that was anticipated, but we are hitting it slowly. Um, there's plenty of torpedoes incoming. But as you can see, you know, it's... They're just fast enough to catch... So if this thing like loses a lot of its propulsion mechanism or something like that, then it shouldn't be that much of a problem. But what happened uh, in 
<coughs> in a lot of the tests I've done against these things is that um, I managed to damage their turning and the ship just kept going and we th I don't have anything to catch after this thing so it was just kept going and then it was the endless battles of well how far can it get before it runs out of fuel very very far <laughs> the answer very 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 far <laughs> oh yeah this one of the annoying designs it's like um, the scarlet dawns flying things you know where they have really fast very high flying things and they just keep on going for an eternity and it's just pain in the ass to deal with them and this is of course another very much pain in the ass to deal with ship and as you can see the propulsion is like spread across the entirety of the vessel so this actually gives it quite a sturdiness of 40 meters a second and it's gonna keep those 40 meters a second fairly well um, even if it gets all of its other stuff blown apart you know this rear section as you can see all the propulsion is gone but it still has plenty of it right in the center you know the cheeky methods of building stuff Ah, oh, yeah I mean there, there are certain limitations that you have to take in consideration when you're building ships like this but uh, yeah um, it, it's still in my opinion very cheeky and I, I would just not do it and we have taken some damage uh, there um, but we have done considerable amount of damage this thing is leaning hopefully we're gonna do enough damage to get it down to 80% and it's gonna start sinking yes Alright, this, this, okay, didn't turn out to be as much of an ass issue as I initially thought it going to be, but, oh, this can be uh, one of those issues, you know. So, yeah, plenty of torpedo powers just to fight these things. Yes. Yes, yes. Plenty of torpedoes coming our way. Alright. And it's despawning. But we did suffer some damage, 83% on this one. Give me a second how badly how bad it is. Oh it lost both of the front turrets. These are still the old destroyers. The, I actually went and constructed new ones. Uh, they however are not completely completed because I've been lazing around with them and I just don't know. Hey, should I place it like this? Should I place it like that? Ah, uh, yeah, but, um, yeah, they, you're gonna have to get replaced. Simply due to the currently lack of speed. I mean, the ships of the similar size we're currently having are all doing past 20 meters a second, and this one is still at, at a battleship level speed. You know, the Corant is doing 16 meters a second, and this one is, you know, a 1 meters a second faster. It's just, yeah, you're gonna get replaced. Unfortunately, but uh, that thing is, as you can see, still despawning. So, should give you an idea on how big it actually is. It's, I think it is like twenty-two thousand in volume. It's really annoying to catch these things up. So, a large amount of torpedo power, however, and we are victorious. Yeah, take that. Muhaha. <laughs> Yeah, well, we also gonna have to repair here now. All right, this kind of worked. We are defending our territories down here just fine. Judgment and the salad, salad chancellor. That's a desecrator. Um, I'm pretty sure you can go up there. How much is here? You are. Yes, you are uh, collecting material, but of course, brought 5 per second, ugh, kind of meh, 5 per second up as well, that's fairly nice. Receiving. Receiving. It's an infinium reserve, Receiving. so, uh, thus, this infinium reserves do not disappear. Listening. That's what the good point about them is. Well, the good point. I mean, it, they, are, they are the primary resource for, for the campaign and 
the rest you can kind of ignore. I mean, it's, they can be useful at Charon, Spike, Spike. Okay, that's that should not be an issue at all. Uh, this should be a very short battle, even though I think we could get closer than this, because they are actually quite small ships, these. Oh, uh, yes. And, oh, yeah, the Charon is yeah not exactly a fighting vessel. It's more of a vessel for... Uh, <coughs> support type vessel, if you want to put it that way. And, yeah. And the spikes are planes. Which are also not that great. Uh, I I don't think they're godly designs. I think they're like regular, even. I, at least that's what I can remember. Ah, you, you can check. Which... Uh, yeah, but we're practically... We lost a one block. Oh my god. It's the end of the world. As we know it. And of course, uh, they're completely destroyed. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. And it's that. Yes. And that one is that up as well, so... Yay! We managed to win another glorious battle. Such a difficult thing and past the point, the glorious battle. 17. Really? We managed to drop to 17 shells? I think there is might be a problem with the second turret not having enough autoloaders. No, not enough uh, intakes. Or maybe we're just running out of ammo. Oh. Mm. We're most likely running out of ammo considering the amount of weaponry we're coming. Okay. We would not like if this. Uh, oh. Let's. Uh, now, another glorious battle here. Well, this is gonna be tougher. I mean. Second play. Uh, you, you go down below. And you go up, 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 up. Yeah, yeah. Does it matter? Not really. So, Judgment, Charon, Valkyrie, and the Sector. Okay. So, I think this is gonna work like that. Mm -hmm. And like that. And maybe like that. Yeah. There are two of them in here, aren't they? Yeah. No, it just it's the main, it's the flagship. That's why it has that crosser over. I thought it was like two ships in one, which could be quite potentially bad. So let's spawn on this one. I think we should get at least four ships into the game with this setup. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, we got five ships into the game. Alright, so what we are having to fight first is the the smaller things, the Veles. No, no, it's the, the Dissector. And there are two Dissectors. Oh, wait, these things have torpedoes, don't they? Um, hmm, uh, this may actually, we may actually take some serious damage here. Even though, I mean... We should be close enough to repair each other, so... Or maybe not. Um, not completely sure anymore. <laughs> oh well, uh, the torpedoes should be incoming, yes, and... This civilian type vessel, which... In five minutes I forgot what the name is, how it's called up already. And... Uh, this this sector, I think it's blowing up. Oh, uh, yeah, the subby has just uh, well <sighs> hit it pretty hardcore there. And uh, this should not stick, but it is. <laughs> All right. 
So that one is uh, that. And this one is... Um, well, it's AI that. Okay? So you're the last one that's still alive. We do not believe in you. <laughs> Didn't you hear? Your faction got destroyed. You're at the end of your lifetime. Your, all your base are belong to us and our ships are flipping. Oh, cripes, I mean... Um... Um... um <laughs> I... Oh, Christ. Yeah, that's um... Oh, the AI on the, in this game. Oh, and now the, the sector comes out. <laughs> no, the, the judgment. This is the judgment. <laughs> brilliant timing. Brilliant timing. Two of our ships are flipped over. <laughs> oh my god. They just so have to. I mean, oh yeah, that's, that's just not good. Look at this. Straight into the belly of the ship where there is no shielding there. Yeah. We, th we just lost the ship thanks to ramming. It's ah so this just needs to get fixed for fuck's sakes. I mean this is so 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 annoying. It should not have happened in the first place, but yeah, we're gonna lose a ship here. We, we're pretty much gonna lose a ship here. Actually, we are just staying out of water with our propulsion. That's it. We are staying out of water thanks to our propulsion. Doing reversing. And... Uh, are the repairs not doing? Going on? No? 69. Yeah, we lost our AI there. We're just staying afloat with our propulsion. Ah. Well. Uh, we lost the controls. Yes, we lost the controls. Um. I'm not repairing it though, or at least I don't see repairs going on. Which is an odd thing to happen. We lost all the controls of the vessel. Oh the AI, the AI in this game. Seventy percent. But holy crap! I mean, look at this. That just really, really bad mojo. But well, we we have managed to kill it. That's at least something. Okay, there is still a Valkyrie there. The Nirva spawned in, and uh, I think it's the Nirva. Yes, the Nirva did spawn in, and uh, it should do its thing. And you're dead. Come on, despawn already. Before my ship start to do more of this. Yeah. Holy Christ, this is so, so, so bad. Oh, uh, yes. This, this. So, such a horrible thing when it happens. When the ships start to ram each other and. I mean, they should prioritize, the the currently ships prioritize single target and that's it, ignore everything else. The moment there is a single target there, they just keep, either try to keep the distance or that's it. That's the only thing they are capable of. Everything else is, you know, this. Yeah. Gunnery 
Okay. This should at least allow you to separate. <sighs> but seriously, having to babysit them like this is so annoying. It's just so annoying. Ah. <laughs> uh. But I mean, I'm trying. I'm trying. It's, it's Hopefully, the new update gonna fix some of these issues. And you're kind of sinking. No idea why are you going underwater like this? You've been taking damage? No, you haven't been taking any damage. What the hell are you doing? Have you rammed into something up as well? That could be quite potentially the case to here. And we're still sailing in reverse. <laughs> the AI has still not been fixed. We're going in reverse as, as much as we can. And that pretty much keeps this ship afloat. <laughs> oh. Alright. Um, I would order you now to stop, but... Uh, I don't have any controls over you. <laughs> oh, ramming. Why? Why? Oh. And of course, as as this is from the depths, the repairs ongoing are always going to, you know, repair everything else before they repair the AI on the vessel, which would we really need. Or controls. Or controlled surfaces. Actually, the propulsion is fully repaired. Okay, that, that's at least something. But, yeah. Well, at least it's not repairing the bloody ammunition boxes. That's, that's something that's a good thing to happen. Or at least I don't think it's repairing the ammunition boxes. It could potentially be trying to repair the ammunition boxes. Well, no, it isn't. I mean, we do have 44,000 stuff available and are my own repairs turned off or something because I don't see them hmm I mean I know you can turn your character repair off I just can't remember which button is it <laughs> oh well um wherever we're going here um <laughs> that you repair properly um Listening. give me a second touch yeah Christ um Receiving. which one is it here and is this one yes it's V allow others to repair this one. I'm pretty sure this was was turned on before, so Yeah. All others have it turned on, just that one didn't have it turned on. And I'm like, why is it not repairing? Yeah, it allow others to repair this one. Yeah, now it is on! Bloody hell! It just randomly turned itself off, didn't it? That's why it was not repairing. It just... Uh, from the depths! From, uh, uh. Okay, I mean, this is a minor bug, not, not a big issue, but... More it, it pisses me off that the AI is, is so finicky. Just that that one is, is, is the PS one. So yeah, but this is gonna be it for today, see ya!